Next thing I'm going to show you is how to get a tilt shift lens blur effect in your photo. Uh, what a tilt shift lens does is it moves the lens element away from your sensor at different angles. Uh, this can be good for correcting the perspective of architectural shots and things like that. Uh, but the coolest result you can get from it is a very, very thin and kind of bizarre depth of, of field. Uh, you can get lenses that do this for digital SLRs, uh, but it originates from the medium format camera, those things with uh, bellows and stuff. Uh, you see the depth of field thing in a lot in food photography, uh, sometimes in fashion photography, and a lot of the times in the I'm an artist because half of my picture is blurry photography. Uh, now the only thing with these lenses is that they're ridiculously expensive and if you're like me and don't have a lot of money uh, you'll have to just play with it in Photoshop. Now I'm not big on Photoshop blur because half the time it looks cheesy but if you can get you know pretty good effects and save thousands of dollars then I'm definitely a fan of that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I just got this picture here of a mitten soap and a drain pipe and the first thing to do is hit the gradient tool uh, okay now you're given a bunch of options here uh, for different gradients you can go kind of like a linear gradient which is just one color to the next uh, looks like that okay you can do a circle gradient which looks like that okay or you know there's different kinds but the one that I use for the tilt shift effect is called a reflected gradient okay so I'm gonna select that now instead of just putting it across my picture like this I'm gonna use a thing called a quick mask it's another way of selecting things and making a layer mask so all you have to do is hit Q on your keyboard and you go into quick mask and then you can use that same gradient tool again and it'll come up as a red bar instead now what this represents is your selection uh, so don't worry about the red because it'll go away later. But basically, I'm just going to play around with it till I can get a pretty good selection of the area that I want to be in focus. Uh, that looks pretty good. Now, to save this selection, all I have to do is hit Q again, and that gradient will be perfectly selected with no rough edges. So now I'm going to go to Filter, Blur. A big mistake I see when people uh, apply blurs to images is they use Gaussian blur, but to me, it, you know, it doesn't it doesn't look very realistic ever, like an actual lens blur. So the filter that I like to use is lens blur, and uh, you know, usually takes a while to load, but that's okay. Cool. All right, now you'll see the parts that were in red aren't blurred, and the parts that weren't are, and uh, you know, it it actually looks pretty convincing. Uh, you can play around with all your settings here. Uh, basically the thing that I like to play around with is just the radius. I don't really touch any of these other things like blade curvature or rotation. Another thing that I fiddle with also is you, you can get some cool results if you go into this specular highlights thing. And if you turn down the threshold, all the parts in the blur where your highlights were are going to give off kind of a uh, strange glow. So I don't really like it for this picture, but um, for your nice pictures taken like outside, you know, in the trees or something in nature, it would, it would really look good. But for this kind of thing, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, just play around with this here. Yep, that looks pretty good. And also, and also, just make sure up here, uh, you have the choice between faster and more accurate. Um, always pick more accurate because the blur will look better. Okay. All right, cool. So the lens blur is done for that image. Now I can do it again on a different image here. I'm gonna go to the gradient tool. I'm gonna get my reflected gradient. Hit Q on the keyboard to enter a quick mask. Gonna make a gonna make a mask using the red over the parts that I want in focus. Gonna quick mask again. Filter, blur, lens blur. Uh-huh. And then I can play around with stuff from there. Okay. Cool. And that looks pretty convincing.